Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 25th, 2020. Well, doggone it, yesterday we had quite a volatile session with the Dow rising on nearly 300 points or around 300 points before turning around and selling back off, leaving behind an awful lot of uncertainty um, in the market. Um, obviously, uh, everyone is kind of wondering and hoping that the sell-off will come to an end. But this morning, we're seeing futures pointing to a lower open. So... How about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So looking at the technicals this morning, guys, we obviously we had uh, some hopefulness coming into the market yesterday and trying to bounce, but doggone it, uh, at the end of the day, it really didn't improve any of the technicals of the chart um, overall. If we take a look here, we are still in a downtrend. As a matter of fact, we may even be channeling down and may need to seek another low here before we actually come up out of this area. We have a little bit of price support down in here that could be tested. That's right down around where that 200 day moving average is looming. And we're only about, oh, a little over one and a half, 1.8 percent away from that 200 day moving average. And this morning, as you can see, if you look at this candle, we're getting a, a bit of a bear uh, going on here on this morning's candle. Futures are pointing lower and continue to grind lower throughout the morning. We may get a gap down. Um, it's, it's certainly possible we could gap down and then rally back up. But with that 200 day moving average on the Dow so close at hand, it really, we can't rule out the possibility that we test that. Overnight, we had a pretty volatile future session. Um, House Democrats were coming out with another attempt at a $2.4 trillion stimulus package. And then later on, we heard from Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs lowering fourth quarter estimates by half of GDP, cutting GDP in half, um, because they see the stalemate and the stagnation in Congress as um, uh, fading hopes of another stimulus package by the end of the year. So who's right? I don't know. But what we have in here is an uncertain market. And um, we can see that in the, in the energy that the market is producing right now. Just not a whole lot of energy overall as we try to battle this out. And the other thing that we're seeing here that's pretty significant and um, probably a little bit shocking to those who are relatively new to trading and got involved in the market this year is that we're seeing a tenaciousness in the bears that we haven't experienced this year. We would get pullbacks in the market, but the bears would just give up real easy and be overwhelmed by bulls pushing through. We're not seeing that right now. The bears are holding on and they are fighting back. So just kind of keep that in mind. There is a back and forth going on in here. This head and shoulders top in the Dow has certainly played out. We should be reaching kind of an end to that selling here eventually and catch a little bit of a relief rally. But I got to tell you with the uncertainty that we face this weekend and the big political battle that's set to kick off uh, tomorrow with the presidential appointment to the high court, um, boy, anything is possible. And remember, guys, I want to remind everyone, I, I talked about this last week. I talk about this almost every week, the uncertainty of a weekend, to be careful of the uncertainty of the weekend. And remember, we went into the last week um, rather hopeful that we would hold around that 50-day moving average, cut that little bounce at the end of the day last Friday. And then those news events over the weekend gapping us substantially lower, um, bringing in a lot of losses, um, including losses for myself, uh, because I held positions over the weekend. And so 
kind of keep in mind that uncertainty of the weekend. We still have that, these things that are continuing to circulate out there. So be a little bit careful um, loading up on positions. Even if you do see a lot of bullishness coming into the market, be careful loading up on positions until we really start breaking through this downtrend. Any rally back could certainly um, happen and any rally back could certainly meet the, that bear defense and push us back down. So just keep that in mind. Trade very carefully and cautiously as we head into this politically charged weekend. It could be kind of an interesting time. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also technically in a pretty damaging situation here. The 34 EMA crossing down through the 50. Um, our, our 8 exponential obviously crossing down. The 20 is moving down. By the time we rally back up into this area, we're likely going to experience a fairly significant level, technical level of resistance, let alone the price action in that chart. So let's keep that in mind and remember that as we, if we rally, if we move back up and challenge challenge um, resistance of that downtrend, it may just be that next opportunity for those bears to fight back. So be careful in just assuming that we have to bounce from here. It's not, it's not um, an uncommon pattern once we break the 50, test it as resistance to eventually see that 200 day moving average tested. And I know no one wants to believe that that is possible, but just remember three weeks ago, no one wanted to believe that a 50 day moving average would be tested. And um, here we are uh, back down through that. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ tried to do the best. Well, it did the best job yesterday with the big tech giants trying to rally yesterday and I think the QQQ has probably the best potential of leading us out of this sell-off. Holding in here pretty well um, on some support level in the chart. We're a long ways away from the 200 day. It would seem um, pretty amazing if we ever, if we reach that um, in this, in this sell off. But I think we're probably going to experience some kind of a bounce back here first. There are some troubles out there to certainly uh, concern the market, whether or not we're going to get a stimulus or not. Um, um, COVID, um, all of this political battle and things going on, um, election. So there's a lot of uncertainties out here that can still challenge us. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if we end up seeing a retest of these lows or maybe even a break of that low before we bounce. But keep in mind that we have a downtrend in play and that downtrend, we're not going to see any bullishness really until we crack back above that downtrend and really prove to hold it as support with a higher low. Remember, that's how a trend begins. That higher low is where the trend begins, not before that. Everything underneath that trend is just mere speculation. And we've seen how that mere speculation racing back into the market has punished so many people here recently. So be very, very careful. IWM, IWM uh, technically is pretty dismal. Um, breaking down, we had kind of this double top resistance high. We made that lower high, breaking the 50, now breaking the 200 day. Um, a bounce back up um, here is certainly possible from an oversold condition. We are oversold uh, technically in this market, but as those bears continue to show that tenacious, tenaciousness, we cannot rule out the possibility of more downside. So just kind of keep that in mind um, as you plan um, into this weekend. We have a fairly significant level of support here in price we could easily see that level be tested before this is over. So just keep that in mind. And any rally back, we have lots of resistance above that could affect us on any rally back. Could be that line of defense for the bears. Let's take a look at the VIX. You know, this VIX continues to be very perplexing and um, almost bizarre um, in the sense that we, we rally in the market and the VIX barely moves down. We um, sell off and the VIX barely moves up. It is a really interesting thing. I've never seen the VIX acting like this. I can't tell you if it's big hedging or something that's going on in here creating that. 
um, it is a very weird scenario. So be real careful here and just keep in mind that we are in a higher low situation here on the VIX. If we get that fear starting to creep up, if we really do start selling off again, we could see that fear spike. However, if we can kind of catch this floor in here on the, on the market, maybe we can hold up a little bit better. Just watch that careful and close. A lot of things going on here and a lot of uncertainty as we plow forward into this weekend. Let's take a look at T2122. It's the four week new high, new low ratio. Now this gives us the biggest and best hope of that potential bounce. We, um, we got that little bit of lift on that market and we were trying to extend that up um, yesterday but those bears came back in pushing us back down we're down here scraping the bottom of this indicator and we typically bounce off of that but we also have to recognize the fact that we can sometimes lay down here on this bottom for a while and the reason that uh, would occur would be uncertainty into the weekend um, and we certainly have uh, you know a pretty good shot of that possibility um, heading into this weekend so watch that closely we could bounce around in here um, quite a bit watch it carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today in our economic calendar we have a couple of things that we want to pay attention to um, honestly uh, really one thing is is all that's really going to probably affect us today and that's going to be this durable goods report durable goods orders at um, 8 30 this morning before the market opens that'll be critical um, a good report could help us out an awful lot. A poor report could certainly um, help sink this market. So watch that one carefully. Um, and they're looking for a lot lower number than, than the prior. So um, consensus is a lot lower. So uh, just watch that one carefully. We also have some Fed speak today that we'll want to pay attention to, but we've had that all week and we really haven't learned anything more. Um, in that that fed speak so just keep that one in mind as we move along um on the earnings calendar today we have um only three confirmed earnings reports uh today and none of them would be what i would consider um notable unless you happen to own um one of these stocks like ntz a dollar 46 um glbs uh, 10 cents I don't I kind of doubt these are going to be market moving or affecting um, today so only three of those we do have several unconfirmed on there that may report but all of those are uh, really not notable for the day so and not much going on on that so we will be really left to the news cycle that economic report on the durable goods that could set us off uh, for the day so watch those things closely so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading and if this is the first time that you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and also if you find these videos to be helpful and notice that I don't I don't go into all of the hype and I don't go into all the prediction I want to be looking at the potential and planning my day accordingly um, if you find that to be helpful and useful please feel free to share that click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment helping us continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does that honestly you guys are awesome and I truly truly appreciate it so let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Um, I, I want to um, remind everyone that every time I post a video, uh, post a stock in one of these videos as a potential, it's nothing more than part of the education that I provide. And please understand that um, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, everyone has to do their own due diligence to determine whether or not this trade fits them, if it's the right position. And um, I would ask you to 
um, kind of stay focused on um, on that to remember that we all have to do our own job in trading. Copying someone else's trading is a bad idea. Um, a lot of people fail in trading trying to do that. So understand the trade, make sure it fits you personally before you take make a decision to enter into any trade. Let's take a look at Costco. Costco has been battling back and forth here. Obviously, Costco has been one of the beneficiaries of a strong or a COVID market, I should say. Um, people stocking up, staying home, those kind of things. Costco has held up pretty well. We have a pattern in here. It's not super, super favorable, but we also have a pattern where we are proving support of this area down in here. Every time we push down, buyers step up off of that area. So let's watch Cusco here. If we can step up off of that area, if we can get a little bit of a lift, and that happens to be right there on that 50-day moving average, if we can get those buyers stepping in, pushing that up, there may be some opportunity here in Costco. Keep a close eye on that. Pretty decent looking chart overall. Um, retail itself is doing uh, better than, um, well, kind of surprisingly good considering um, COVID and issues like that. But let's take a look at Target. Um, stocks like Target, there's been a lot of news here recently. Target, Kohl's, everyone is kind of gearing up Walmart for a big holiday season, a huge holiday season um, of online sales. And they're gearing up for that. So keep an eye on Target. I've been watching this closely and honestly have uh, been paying attention to this little pullback and this little consolidation here after it gapped up. And any pop above this area would suggest we may start going higher. Notice we have a little trend here in play. We may have to rest a couple, three more days here before that moves. But keep an eye on that. Target's trying to show some signs of life here. Now, I was looking at Kohl's earlier um, last week, but boy, this thing just absolutely cavitated, fell apart back down here in these lows. This doesn't this doesn't warrant a long trade for me in any way, shape, or form unless you wanted to speculate with potentially a bull put credit spread off of this support area. But um, there's one of those, um, uh, well, <laughs> just one of those stocks that just got terribly damaged and needs to recover before there's any anything in that chart um, that would make sense take a look at um, fdx fdx um, holding up very very well now i realize if i pull this back there is some significant highs over here in this chart but let's also remember that we are going to probably experience one of the biggest online sales environment um, this holiday season that we've ever experienced. That's going to put a lot of pressure on these companies and make them very, very profitable. So taking a look at FedEx and um, UPS heading into um, this holiday season and the potential of huge huge um, holiday sales affecting them we might want to keep an eye on those there there may be there may be reason to be looking at this to move considerably higher considering the new environment in our market also might want to take a look at walmart i've placed an alert here on walmart notice that we've got this really long trend i've held this stock since all the way back over here guys i'm long this stock uh, and actually own the stock and i think there's a, a a good upside potential in this and i'm watching this consolidate put it placing a price alert i will be adding to this trade possibly if this can move on up from here but i wouldn't be at all surprised to see more consolidation uh, before that occurs watch that carefully um, in the chart there's lots of other charts out there to potentially uh, pay attention to um, that have been holding up really really well this nio holding up extremely well um, in this sell-off it's just barely budge barely move so keep a close eye on that that might perk up i was looking at mu yesterday mu had this really substantial move up and then we whoops 
really substantial move up and then we hit this sell-off and we had this lots of volatility showing up in here but what i like about the mu chart is that it is still holding above this downtrend break and holding this support level if this has to rest or consolidate dance around in here a little bit moving over toward this trend i want to be watching this one for that possibility to pop on out could come around here uh, pretty soon so keep an eye on that other stocks like uh, texas instruments um, holding some support levels microsoft um, holding some levels um, i was actually looking at a bull put credit spread in microsoft yesterday placed the order but didn't get filled any pullback in here, I'll be looking for an opportunity maybe to uh, pick up a trade, long trade here in Microsoft. I would be thinking the same here of Apple. Um, considering holiday sales, all the new gadgets that they've come out with and are, are coming out with, might want to watch this little double bottom in here. As you can see, I laid out a potential credit spread trade. Um, on this i think there is some possibility in here we want to watch that it's holding up quite well and i think it'll be tech that leads us out of this um, sell-off so keep a close eye on that um, i also picked up just to um, show that i probably do have a little bias on the tech side here um, i did pick up um, a credit spread in um, the nasdaq yesterday ended up closing the day positive um, can't say that that's going to continue to stay that way but any rally back up looks you know the biggest hope looks to be in the in the nasdaq right now so watch that close so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you a wonderful wonderful weekend be safe out there guys be careful remember heading into this weekend there's an awful lot of uncertainty with this political appointment there's going to be a lot of um, hubbub about it anything is possible on monday morning um, so be careful plan your risk carefully as you slide into this weekend everyone take care and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning